Steph uh, joins us now after a 28-point, 10 assists, 6 rebound game. Steph, thank you for the time. And first thing I want to start with is the defensive effort that you all were able to get. How, how much did that fuel what you were able to do as a team? It was everything tonight because uh, we were a little rusty in that first, first half. Um, the adrenaline was, was running crazy. Obviously, it's the finals, so you're feeling that. Um, but after nine days off, that was an excuse for us, but we, we, uh, we weren't executing the details on the offensive end. We were missing layups, um, you know, turning down open shots, you know, just trying to you know, settle in. So our defensive effort allowed us to kind of work through that, that struggle on the offensive end um, you know, and keep a lead and, and just build that flow up. And then, you know, as the game went on, we got more comfortable. Uh, shots started to fall. and. The ball was hopping, and, and that's the formula for us to be successful against this Cavs team. We have to defend, try to make it tough, knowing they have great scores. Um, you know, LeBron and Kyrie can, can make tough shots all game, but you got to just try to make it as tough as possible, take the other guys out the best you can, get stops and run. It's interesting to hear you describe that <laughs> adrenaline because watching you all in those first few minutes, it, it looked like someone that sat down like on the on the seat of a motorcycle and just opened the throttle up entirely. Like you guys were there was and on both sides, and that's understandable. What are those first few minutes like when you've been chomping at the bit to get out there and, and see what's what? It's hard to explain. I mean, like you said, we've been out. We were out for nine days, and so we we've been looking forward to just getting back into the action. For a very long time, mm -hmm. and, um, you try to simulate what game speed is like in practice. You know, scrimmaging against uh, against each other, and you know, playing physical and, and trying to keep that flow. But there's no there's no real simulation for a finals game. You know, at home with your home crowd going crazy. So we didn't just want to beat our you know beat ourselves in the first six minutes and just weather the storm, and we were able to do that. I understand there's no parade to be thrown after one win. I do wonder, though, how much satisfaction and how much enjoyment you got, particularly out of the contributions you made tonight. A few big shots and the, the outbursts of emotion stuff were, were pretty evident to anybody that was there or, or was watching. So I guess I'm asking, what's, what's in those moments when you're just enjoying what's happening? We can only focus on what's in front of us, and that's, that's the biggest thing for us going into the series um, is – to enjoy the process of trying to win a championship because it's a grind, it's stressful, it's, it takes everything you have mentally and physically. So you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but you got to enjoy the moment. You know, uh, when, when good things happen, when bad things happen, stay positive, um, have fun. You know, you know, try to be inspirations to you know each of our teammates out there that, to to know we're locked in and ready. Um, but like you said, we understand that there's a, a lot of work to be done and. This isn't a cumulative score finals. You this zero zero <laughs> kind right. of game too. So it doesn't matter uh, how well we play tonight. We have to you know back it up with another great performance for 48 minutes and and figure out another way to get you know, another win. I I would I'd call him the thin man. What do you uh, what do you take away of Kevin Durant's performance? Was there anything specific to uh, to what he was able to provide that you thought was particularly significant outside of the obvious, which you know 38 points is is easy to count those up. Uh, yeah, he was just composed. I think the biggest thing for for him, we know he's, he's such an efficient scorer, getting to his spots, whether he's you know inside the, the three point line, you know pulling up for for mid range shots, getting to the paint. Uh, but for us, when when he's able to defend the way he, he he did tonight, get rebounds and then push and transition as a playmaker with myself, Clay, you know Andre, Draymond running the lanes, that's a huge advantage for us. And uh, there were times tonight where he got the defense on his heels and was able to you know, finish at the rim. He found me for a couple open threes. Uh, and so we were able to turn you know, those defensive stops into transition opportunities, which all the playmakers we have, whoever gets the rebound, just push and go, and, uh, and, and good things will happen. Speaking of good things that will happen, a last thought here. It's basically an 8-to-1 assist-to-turnover ratio. What do, you, what do you attribute that phenomenal number to? Just trying to keep it simple. Um, my dumb self I, I had two <laughs> terrible turnovers I don't so want to point those out yeah they were, they were back yeah, to back no, I had two of just yeah throwing it to the sideline at least they weren't behind the back this time so <laughs> I got some uh, I got some things to work on when it comes to just trying to keep it simple for 48 minutes but when we're moving the ball and and, and you know using each other setting screens and and seeing that ball hop side to side and just you know making simple plays 
uh, it forces them to, to make decisions defensively. And we, we hope that they'll have a breakdown eventually and we can get a good shot. Um, but we have to win the possession game against this team because you know they have so much good talent. Um, if and they try to slow the game down, if uh, if we don't execute in the offensive end, keep them off the offensive glass and win that possession game, you know it's going to be a struggle. Yeah, try to button up that turnover game between now and Sunday because you we, we, you can't you can't go around having half your team's turnovers. So uh, yeah, Steph, no, that's, that's <laughs> terrible. Uh, um, thanks for the time. Appreciate you sitting down with us. Congratulations on game one win. Thank you very much.